Hi, my name is Samuel Wilson and this is my guide to learning finance through mobile education. Through this guide, I intend to allow the viewer to explore and understand global trends in mobile education with relation to affordability and affordances, to relate personal context to the global trends of mobile devices, to understand different educational approaches and their relatedness to studying a finance degree, and to learn about different uses of mobile technologies and how they can be used in an educational setting. According to Cisco, at the close of 2014, the number of mobile connected devices exceeded the entire human population of the Earth. This new connectedness has synergized the world, bringing a rise in global communications in both developed and developing nations, leading to an increase in global mobile education with a focus on learning informally throughout the day on multiple devices, a shift away from the traditional classroom-centered paradigm of education. This shift has been made smoother by the global integration and expansion of mobile technologies. An increase in global trends can be attributed in part to a combination of the concepts of affordability and affordances. Affordances is the quality or feature of an object that allows an individual to perform an action. Through an educational scope, it is the potential of a device to enhance the learning of an individual. Affordability is the extent to which something can be bought relative to one's income. A worldwide decrease in the cost of mobile devices and an increase in affordances has made them more affordable and more useful in both the developed and developing nations, increasing demand substantially. 80% of all smartphone users check their phone within 15 minutes of waking up. An increase of social media reliance, creation of a multi-screen ecosystem and a rise in the epistemological continuum shows how the 21st century has become encaptured by the rise in global mobile technologies. I was born and raised in Australia, a developed country, and hence have had constant exposure to mobile devices and learning. I went to a school with modern mobile education tools and used a laptop throughout my sc schooling. I am currently doing a finance degree at UWA and through my learning here I have seen two main educational approaches to mobile learning. One of these is social constructivism. This approach developed by post-revolution Soviet psychologist Lev Vygotsky argue that all cogn cognitive functions originate in and must therefore be explained as products of social interaction. The learner is seen as possessing prior knowledge which affects how and what they learn, with students learning best when collaborating. In finance, this mode of learning is useful in understanding core theories that students would have seen in practice at some point in life as well as in working in group assignments. The second more traditional approach is the information transmission approach. Under this approach, learning is seen as a simple process where there is one-way transfer of information between the knower and the learner. An example of this is a lecture. The learner is seen as an empty vessel that is filled with information. This can be useful to grasp fundamental concepts and quickly learn stats to support arguments. We will now go on to five different uses of mobile devices in education and see how the different educational approaches mentioned before are used in them. Educational applications can be used on smartphones or other devices and serve a variety of purposes. For example, the Bloomberg Business app gives you access to breaking financial news and data relating to both businesses and the wider economy. This use follows an information transmission approach as it just shows you information without any other engagement from the viewer. While the Google Docs app is a social constructivist approach as it is cent as centered around collaboration with others. A second use of mobile technologies are ebooks. These are electronic versions of a printed book or text and can be read on a mobile device. The educational approaches used in ebooks are information transmission and social constructivist as it is a one-way transfer of information, but can be done in any setting, so it is also social constructivist. QR response codes are a barcode that is a device or that is device or machine readable that contains some information about the item it is attached to or the setting it is in. 
These use a situated learning and information transmission approach as it addresses the learner's context but only relays the information without engagement. Augmented reality apps involve overlaying digital information and communication channels on a real-world setting. Thus, they use a social constructivist approach. Multimedia resources use the integration of multiple forms of media to communicate information. Their information transmission approach as they only teach with no feedback or involvement with the learner. From this feedback, I decided to re-record my voice in a quiet room and focus on enunciating my words better. I also added more statistics and example into my guide. Thank you for listening.